live at Toronto at my booth actually look I'm going to show you the team there's Carla Hi. there's David Hi. and we've got some ladies here trying things out it is a very nice show um, and I thought I would walk the floor with you and then just talk about some products that I'm doing because a lot of you are asking me how do we use long wear cream how do we use your products and what is the great thing but first of all let's just take a look we've got a little lull right now as you can see what I love about Toronto at IMATS is that it is the sort of show that enables you to um, actually have some alone time with the brands and to find out the facts about the products I really enjoy it. It's a very different energy. It's calm. It is cerebral. Uh, it is all sorts of things. Let me go and see if we can find some brands that I really like. Apart from mine, well, of course, there's Hakahodo, who make beautiful brushes. As you know, brushes are everything. And this is Marty, who runs Hakahodo. Me and Marty make the best brushes at the show. We're not too ashamed to admit it, are we, Marty? He's amazing, and look at what they make. It's all beautiful, crafted, coming from traditional uh, techniques and manufacturing. Remember, the Japanese were some of the first people to make makeup brushes. Don't forget that. And it came from calligraphy. So it is an extension of their art, of their history, of their culture, and that's why there's so much beauty to their work. I love you, Marty. I love your history too. Um, lots of things going on here. Oh my good Lord, here we have, I'm gonna turn this around. So are you, can I just, you're on Instagram live at Sean Richards London or London Brush Co. Um, yes. Spray tanning. Spray tanning, how long does this last for? Seven days. Is it waterproof? waterproof. So you can't go swimming with it? Okay. Yes. Right, okay, thank you very much. Let's see what else we've got here. Gosh, there's so many things that are new. Benefit over here, Stila here. Oh, let me go and see, let me go and see Stilazzi. Hold on. I think I saw friends, yes. Here are the boys, my friend's boys. Look how handsome they all are. Uh, excuse me friends can you say hi on Instagram live to my fans please yeah listen guys looking for anyone go to friends all right they've got it all they've got the best looking straight boys at the show too for God's sake we need to take it where we can hi everyone thank you for joining in yeah beauty so clean over there Stilazzi over here ah cheap makeup brushes I'm not gonna show you those why would I so look we've got Michael Key on stage at the moment Let's see, show you what's going on there. Oh, that's Mike Hill talking. They're talking about stuff. Okay, let's take a stroll over to Sean Richards, London. I know that uh, you want to see what's going on at my booth. I'm not gonna waste your time showing you Morphe brushes because they fall apart and that's not what real pros should use either. And yes, I will say it because it's the truth. Uh, I don't know who these are. Beauty Boutique, lots of lights. Oh, lots of very garish lights, are uh, absolutely. We've got Lime Crime over there if you like that sort of stuff. Let's speed it up. Oh, thank God we've got a manicure bar because I bloody need one. Hold on a second kiss new york i kiss new york all the time when i go there hold on one second so as we head towards the booth what i love about toronto is it's a cerebral crowd my canadian customers come year after year they are always asking intelligent questions they want to know the facts and i'm very happy to educate them so i think that I don't know quite how I'm going to do this because I really need to put this somewhere so that I can so that I can demo you some stuff. Oh, let's see if that will work. Do you think that will work? <gasps> looky, looky. Okay. I don't know how we're going to work this, Carla. 
how are we going to hold my phone up? There we go. Okay, can you see me, guys? Yes, you can. Awesome. So you want to know, I know you've been wanting to know about 4K longwear cream, how to use it, how to make the most of it, okay? I'm going to grab one. Hold on. Actually, Hi, everyone. You should come to the show if you're not here. Find Sean on Facebook. I watched one of her Facebooks last night and it was pretty revolutionary, I have to say. <laughs> Carla. Carla, can I sit here so yes, I can show can. them? Thank you. Okay, guys. So 4K long wear cream. Um, basically, it is a silicon cream. Okay, I want you to learn this. This is very, very important. 4K long wear cream is a silicon cream. Okay, we have several different palettes now. We have Vida palette, which a lot of people love using for a lip and cheek. They're using it as a long wear lip. Brilliant for your brides, brilliant for your news readers, for mothers of the brides, for anything where you need something to stay put. You can use it as a base lip color and then you can add a gloss on top of it or you can add a shimmer on top of it. Oftentimes, I'll put long wear on and then I will put my Radiance palette on. So now I wanna try and show you the colors and how they work. God, do you know what? What I love about shows, as you know, I'm, I'm pretty much, um, I'm pretty much on the road. I am not gonna be answering Diana, I'm afraid. Uh, just yet because I'm really just trying to get this going. So what we have is 40% pigment. On my hand is melanin. It's not set, it's not fixed, it does not rub off. Once it's on, it is on for good. You can mix it with marvelous moisturizer to shear it down. Once the moisturizer is absorbed, the longevity and the long wear is still there, but obviously the coverage is not. Um, now, I did a cover on David who has a little bit of vitiligo, which is quite amazing. I can show you how to do that whilst we are on this live. So, when you have 40% pigment, what it enables you to do is go straight on in. Thank you for saying that. A lot of people have been coming and saying that long wear is the most used palette. Let me just go to wipe and see if I can clean So, what I like to do is actually a little moisturizer right in there so when I use it I just put a drop of moisturizer in there okay I'm back my brush, I just grab a little so David can you pass me radiance please just so that I can show them something just curious. thank you darling here you go so so let's see and then we've got long wear on there let's see if it's going off yet I put a lot on there it's nearly gone it doesn't take long to go in do not use long wear cream with a sponge, okay? Do, do not yes. use long wear cream with a sponge. Yeah. Use it with a brush, okay? <laughs> you see with the the brush reason for using a brush, and, and try and use a natural hair brush, because if you've watched my yes. makeup mental videos, you will know that there is nothing <laughs> that beats a natural um, hair brush. Natural there really hair. isn't. You get the most or exquisite finish. Brush, now, okay, sure so we're dry. We are dry. Okay. You can layer it. So if you've got your base color like this, you can put some life into it with a little bit of radiance. And then, oh my gosh, all of a sudden, you have a shimmer. So you have a shimmer that will not move so you can use colors and layer them and put light into them and have that long wear and that waterproof quality you can also shear it down with marvelous moisturizer and make a skin tint out of it so we can make a cream brush let me show you and I'm using my fingers I'm not even using brushes go figure you know, these were the first makeup brushes, remember? Yes. It's only when we went from leaves to feathers and sticks and all sorts of things that suddenly we developed an art form that was called a brush and it enabled us to do beautiful things. And if you've looked at my brush uh, uh, conversations, you'll know that brushes originated in Japan hundreds of years ago. It came from calligraphy and then they just evolved from that. So it really does come from art. So let me show you 
thank you. I'm, I'm glad I'm blowing your mind. It, it makes me very happy because there is so much nonsensical education going on out there. And there are so many silly products that as pros, we really shouldn't be buying. I mean, stay away from the Instagram brands, guys, because they're not gonna help you if you're on a film set or if you're in a TV show. Even if you're doing a bridal, you've got to have long wear. So I'm going to show you now. So I've taken, look, a tiny bit of marvelous moisturizer and literally right I'm going straight ready, in on the pan. For your, uh, I'm mixing it in. And this is also a way to revitalize. You're ready? And all of a sudden, I can really shear it down and you get playtime with it. Look at the pigment from this to this. So. Do you want to do period makeup? Do you want to use a skin tint? Do you want to make it as a lip? Do you want to make it as an eye? What do you want to do it? It's color, it's a product. It goes from rich to sheer and you've still got more playtime because by now you really have taken it down with marvelous moisturizer. So there is the beauty of long wear. Then guess what? You want to put some light into it? Let's do it. We're going to take this beautiful what the color, what's the color? Carmine Kiss. Do you know, I don't even know the bloody names I've named my stuff, <laughs> but then why would I really? Yes, Wendy, Wendy, when we shot the videos that are coming up for the new website, uh, Wendy, who is my production coordinator and all the glue of the company, she said, who named these things anyway? I said, I don't know, some idiot. <laughs> anyway. So we're going to put, she's probably <laughs> laughing now because I know she's tuning in. Wendy, if you're tuning in, you bloody show me some hearts, you old tart. <laughs> right, now, look. Look at the light. Look, guys, look. Look at the sheen. Do you see? Do you see? We've gone matte and now we've highlighted. Now, this is how we get light into skin. Okay? This is how you get light into skin. You layer translucent layers and you get that depth. You cannot put a natural light into skin if you are powdering it. You need to come away from powder, okay? You need to come away from powder. And I do understand that many of you have come from the University of Mac, I get it. The whole philosophy is to have a very heavy makeup and a layered caked makeup. But this is 2018. We have evolved. What is the name of my shimmery palette? It is called the Radiance Palette, my darling. It is 4K lip wear and it is Radiance. And the, what I did was I made it with so many different tones so that it works on every single skin tone. Oh, oh shit. Sorry, love. Oh, hold on a sec. We've had a little faux pas. It's my David. He's got such long Sorry, arms. Sorry, people. Yeah, but yeah, it's him. <laughs> Look, at any shows, you're going to be seeing him. So you just better get used to it because he always brings life to the place. Anyway, uh, Radiance Palette, piece? we have beautiful, beautiful yeah. colors. I, I absolutely love it. Of course, we've got gold. Perfect. Do you see? We have... Uh, we have some cool tones because we do need those for our fair skins, okay? So this is a great bridal palette as well. I know the University of Mac. There is nothing wrong with it. There is a lot of respect for Mac. They did things back in the 90s when there was a very, very narrow availability of product. Mac came through big time and I did used to use it back in the day, but not any longer. You know, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make my own brand. I wanted to make unique colors that I knew could enable you to elevate because the thing about art, which is what makeup is, it's just art with cream products basically, is if you have the right tones and the right pigments and you have pure pigments, that is what makes a face come to life. Okay, it is so important. Hello, Wings yeah. of Beauty. So let me show you, my God, I've, look, I've got so much crap on me right now, it's ridiculous. I've got to find some more space on my body, but because it's long wear, guess what? I can layer it. Wait, I'm gonna come in with ether now and show you how Fantastic. you can layer it. Hold it right there. You're all set. Okay. So now we have ether. 
This was the first one that I made. I am actually going to be coming out Thank with a very so pale Enjoy one very palace. soon. It's called you Boreal. Boreal comes from the Latin, meaning cold. So it's for all the Scandinavian skin tones, all those Celtic, super pale skin tones. So Boreal palette will be launching. So basically, David, pass me essence and melanin, will you please? Essence and melanin, dear. Here you go, love. Yeah, so basically, right now, we've got ether, we have essence, and we have melanin. With those three palettes, Yes, of course, linker pops. Of course you can use them for cream eyeshadows. Use them for liners. Use them for brows. Use them for a smoky eye. I use that little best kept secret number two. Look at the shape of that brush, it's insane. The shape absolutely lends itself to doing a smoky eye. So you don't even need to do a smoky eye with a powder anymore. So when you're working in humid conditions, when you've got people over a certain age when their makeup runs, you use long wear. You can always enhance it in other ways, but your base is long wear and it will not move. Use it as a lip. Use ether essence or melanin around as a foundation, around lips, so lipstick doesn't travel. Skill, skin should still look like skin. Yes, Shauna, of course skin should look like skin. Why do we all want to look like drag queens? Why is it now that because Instagram has dictated mediocrity, and we've forgotten the elegance of beauty. We have forgotten how to vibrate. We have forgotten that skin is what it's all about. It's not about the makeup. If you're looking, why would you want to look at the makeup and not the woman? Just grab the number five because I like the Think about that for a minute. That's not authentic beauty. That is a mask, right? So just think about it. You know when you go on, oh God. You know when you go on Instagram, David, don't kill me. When you go on Instagram, and um, and you see all these crazy Filipino women or Korean women doing these amazing transformations, but they get dissed so badly, and it's so disgusting that people are so hypocritical. They they criticise these women for transforming their faces to being absolutely flawless and perfect, but they don't see the exact parallel in their Instagram three-inch spackle makeup with contour, highlight, and all that shit down the center of the nose. I mean, come on, this is ludicrous. How can you not see a parallel in that? And imagine at night, you're wiping off your face and then your partner sees the real you. No, I would rather that he sort of got the idea, thank you very much, I don't want to scare the children. Now, let me show you how the cover works because it is beautiful. So let's say I have this is melanin, one of my melanin colors here, right? Yes, it is way too much makeup. Can we use every palette for any idea? Diana, you're an artist. Use the medium, experiment. Shear it down with oil for a stain. If you wanna use melanin or essence or ether and break down a skin with it, put it with an oil. Obviously, you're gonna use, lose the longevity because you're breaking it down. If you're doing prosthetics, thin it down with 99% alcohol. Make it into a paint. It becomes a translucent paint. Guess what? When the alcohol evaporates on that silicon, you've got that silicon cream that is the character makeup and it looks like skin rather than using an alcohol-based color. It's beautiful. Use it neat, straight out of the pan with a brush, of course, to cover tattoos, to cover vitiligo, sun damage, anything, scars, anything, anything, anything. Paint out hairlines with it. Do brows with it. Use it as mascara if you haven't got mascara available. Use it as an eyeliner. Guys, as an artist, your whole purpose in life is to create. You think outside of the box, you do individual work, you show your creativity through art. So you don't limit yourself. Imagine that this is your palette and that is all you have to worry about. Now let me show you the coverage because again, you're asking me the coverage. So I'm gonna take a super pale color and I'm gonna pass this ether palette back to David. I know he's, he's champing at the bit, he needs it. Watch, so we're gonna cover That's just one fingerful. David, can I have that ether palette back? I want to show them how quickly it is to cover. Yes. Sorry, boo. Sorry, baby. Um, Wait a second. And um, you get 20% discount. Uh, Are you seeing this? Is this camera picking this up? 
You obviously let it go off in between. Don't yeah. rush it. <laughs> you know, that's just yeah. in a few seconds. So think about that. You when you're covering color. tattoos with yeah. long wear cream, you do not need to color correct. I'm going to say it again. You do not need to color correct. Now, it has come to my attention that some people on certain yeah, so social media use. think that this is made by another company. This is my product, it is my formulation. Just because it happens to be made in Canada has got absolutely no... Uh, sorry, there's some bloke at Makeup Forever who is just so damned loud. Every time he opens his gob, I can't think anymore. So I'm going to say it again. This is my... Can you shut up a minute? <laughs> Nope. He needs to turn it down. It's like the whole world doesn't need to know about this. Anyway, I just told Makeup Forever to shut up. I like Makeup Forever, but not this bloke. He's way too loud. So, okay, let's focus again. Long wear. Use marvelous moisturizer and make. I know you're all cracking up, aren't you? I know I'm an idiot, but you know what? I'm an idiot with a really good heart and I always speak the truth. So, this is mine. It's argan oil. My colors are different. Packaging, whatever. If it's reminiscent, guess what? There are so many brands using the same packaging. Senna uses this packaging. Uh, Premier Products uses this packaging. So many other brands, but there are some people that just have to throw a spanner in the work. So, I would encourage you not to listen to them because they don't know the truth they have never asked me personally they just say what they think not what they know and they don't know very much Shauna Allen yes of course I'm gonna be in Atlanta David will be there Carla will be there we will be doing makeup demos in Atlanta my son will be coming to Atlanta to help sell so you all get to meet Marcus um, let me see Brio palette guys you can have these two David you're amazing and I'm, I'm sure I'm irritating David because he's so organized and here am I making him pull things. Okay, Brio palette. Um, my name, please tell me your name or you with LBC. Okay, my brand is Sean Richards London. We rebranded we re from London Brushco to Sean Richards London. So you go to www.seanrichardslondon.com. That is the new brand, and that's where you find everything. Um, if I'm not filming Diana, it, then I will be in London in spring. I love the London show, and I hope so. Okay, everybody is loving this. Mona Turnbull in London, funnily enough, has posted so many pictures of her using it as winged liner, or as an eyeshadow base, or whatever. The colors are off the charts. Let me show you. I love paint, I love pigment. Oh my God, look. Look, isn't it beautiful? I mean, what I love about doing something like this is I get to have my hands ending up looking like an artist palette and that makes me really happy. So I love you two wings of beauty. David, I'm so sorry, but you're so brilliant. Really Come here, I want you all to meet David. <laughs> David is my angel. I swear to God, he is my angel. He organizes the shows for me. He shows, anything that you receive in the mail, this guy is the one that organizes it. Hi, Epic Makeup. I love you so much, Melissa Street. Um, he's gonna be at all the shows. He will be the one that glues the shows together and enables me to fly in on a Saturday. This is the guy. He's an amazing makeup artist. I wish I could show you Carla, but Carla's busy just being fabulous. I'll bring her in in a minute. Carla was with us last year in Toronto. Shauna is saying hi, David. Hi, Shauna, how are you? <laughs> yeah, we're kicking ass in Toronto, Melissa Street. I love you. And thank you for loving the brushes. Look at this, oh my God, do you know what? I spent so long talking that this got stuck on my finger. That'll teach me, never one short of a word, am I? Right, let me show you the yellow in, in a Brio palette. We need a little bit of activator. Now you've got to remember that silicon creams do dry a little bit, so you should be using Marvelous Moisturizer with them. Of course, if you're painting a prosthetic, look at the amount of pigment in that yellow. So for body painting, for all that sort of thing, yes. 
Let me show you the cream, the greens as well, because the greens are very, very important. God, I really love it. Can you see these pigments, people? Do you like them? What do you think? Are they sexy? I think so. Color is key. Color makes, oh my God, this is my Prussian blue. Now this is one of my, when I paint, when I was at art school, this one color was one of the most important colors in my paint collection. Prussian blue is absolutely a paramount important color. It is a mixer that will change the dimension of anything. Whether you're mixing it with a foundation, whether you're mixing it with a red to turn it into a maroon, it is flawless. Yes, darling, it is buildable. I'm not using any water. I am using 4K Longwear Cream. It is a silicon cream. This is not a water-based pigment. It is waterproof, friction-proof, sweat-proof. You don't need to powder it. You don't need to fix it. You don't need to seal it. When you use it neat, it is long wear, 24 hours plus. There are times when I go to the bathroom and wash my hands at the end of the day and the bloody stuff doesn't even wash off. I've got to take it off with oil. Oil is always the release for a 4K long wear cream or any silicone. Remember? Thank you. Yes, it is amazing. It is. And what is really beautiful is the colors. So, you know, we've got very, very old colors here that you don't often see. I think this one is perylene violet. Yes, a very important color. Perylene. This also is a very important pigment. Okay? This is either a mixed tone or it's a liner, it's an eyeshadow. What the hell do you want to be? Hello, Anne Derbyshire, my darling. How are you? Long time no see. So Brio palette is a very diverse palette. It's an important palette. It's a fun palette. A lot of people like using it for body makeup, okay? So I think that gives you an idea. We've got a bunch of pigments, roses. What? I'm on Instagram Live. Neil, come round here. Uh, we got Neil Morrill in the house. Hang on a minute. Hold on. That hairy bugger right there. He is my, well, he's my mate. Neil and I have known each other now for 20 something years. He is a moody Mancunian. And he did this guy. Come over here, mate. Let's show them what's been going on at the show. So this is what Neil did today when he's ready to stand up and put his baseball cap down. Ready? So Neil did this. Neil, would you like to tell them what you did with this makeup? I did. This is a foam latex appliance. Uh, I've actually been using uh, Sean's 4K uh, longwear palettes and the uh, the alcohol palettes as well, which are awesome. What did you do? Ah. Describe it. Uh, there's a, a piece that kind of like goes across there. There's two hair pieces, well, three hair pieces, a wig, made these teeth. Um, Usually, what I would do is like use packs all the way down here. Yes. And tell them what. Tell them what packs is. Uh, packs is um, acrylic paint mixed with a prosade glue. Uh, if you don't know what it is, um, but you, usually I would do that and pull it all the way down. But I've actually used Sean's 4K creams, and it does exactly the same. Bloody hell! Yeah. Do you remember all those years of taking packs off? Yeah, okay. Gone. So packs. Packs was invented by Dick Smith. If you don't know your makeup history. He is the godfather of special effects makeup. We say all hail to Dick Smith because without him, there would be no makeup effects, basically. Him and Stuart Freeborn were the pioneers. I've got a bleeding werewolf. Hello, mate. I love you long time, too. <laughs> but this is I'm at. Yes, Neil, that's fabulous. You're getting a lot of love for the work. Oh, thank you. So you'll see Neil at many of the shows. Neil will be coming to I'm at LA. Neil will probably be coming to IMATS Atlanta as well in November. He will be at IMATS New York next year. We are educating film style. I am not doing mediocrity. This is about elevation. We're showing you what you need to bring your skill set up to par. We're not Instagram people. We are the people on the ground, on films, learning and trying things out. All of this I developed whilst I was filming. So I road tested it whilst I'm filming. Neil, what's your Instagram? Uh, 
Neil four five Neil Morrill four five one. Yeah, Neil Morrill Neil Morrill N E I L M O R R I L four five one. I have tagged him on some of my posts. Yes, you can use it to colour a bald cap. Yes, you can use it to colour silicon. Yes, you can use it to colour foam rubber. Yes, you can use it to paint on gelatin. Yes, you can use it on vinyl. What do you want to use it on? Skin? Put bloody saran wrap on a head and paint that too if you're stuck and you want someone in the background. Anything works. Think outside of the box. Double L. M O double -R, R I double L. So, long wear. I've shown you pretty much all this. Did I show, um, Carla, can you pass me Essence, please, so I can show them Essence, and you can have Brio back, okay? Oh, thank you, so kind of you. Oh my God, do you see the mouth I get? This is the energy at my booth. The, yes, you can paint hair too, of course you can paint hair. Paint out roots, paint out facial. Do what the hell you like, you know? And, and then, of course, spray a little bit of shine onto hair to get that luster back into it. So, yes, yeah, Miss Epic, we have to do an Instagram Live soon, boo. All right, so this is Essence. This is what I made on my movie for Mr. Bozeman, of course, because there was a need, right? So now, let me show you. I'm going to cover it again. Let's layer it. Look, we're layering it. We are layering it. Look. Layer but instant coverage. Look at that. Now, for all of you who read that this stuff cracks, it does not. You know what is cracked? It's your makeup skill. That is as simple as that. There ain't nothing wrong with this product because I know all the people who use it love it so if it's not working for you then you need to look to yourself first rather than find fault with the product for the best results with long wear cream if you're covering tattoos or you're covering any sort of vitiligo any sort of rosacea scarification anything like that you put it on clean skin remember what i told you oil breaks down silicon oil breaks down silicon can i have a show of hearts for everyone who understands that amen yes everyone's going yes and okay oil breaks down silicon oh my god we've got a crowd here now okay okay so oil breaks down silicon so if you've got a moisturizer that is oil based what do you think is going to happen when you're trying to cover a tattoo can someone please write it down what is going to happen if you try to cover a tattoo on skin that has got an oily moisturizer on it? What's going to happen? Come on, write it. I want to see it. Oh my God, David's freaking out in the background. Okay, someone over here. What is going to happen if you put, if you're covering a tattoo and you're putting long wear cream on an oil-based moisturizer? It's going to break down. It's going to break down. Hallelujah. Let's hear it. Praise be. Okay. It slides, Shauna, yes. Also, it is gonna crack. It is going to degrade the formula. So, when you wanna cover a tattoo, my best advice to you is to cleanse off with a witch hazel. Good old fashioned witch hazel. It will tone it, it will absolutely Put the skin where you need it to be. Let it absorb, and then you're going to take a brush and you're going to cover it. David, have you got that vitiligo on show? Okay, I'm going to show you something. David's going to strip. Okay, okay, David's going to strip. Can you sit, David, sit down a second, baby? Okay, David's got like. See. No, I know. Hang on, Neil, I need you to hold that thing so I that. Can hold it. Okay, you hold it. Stand oh, up, up, stand up, babe. All right, do you see? This is David's vitiligo, all right? So I'm gonna show you. This is 4K long wear cream straight in. So we're just gonna take the brush and we're gonna cover it in seconds. You're gonna layer it very gently and you're not gonna bash it in like you're trying to bloody well break into his body. You're just going to literally gently caress him with your brush. <laughs> me too, me too. Me too. Me too. Me three. Me three. <laughs> me ten. Okay, so I'm putting yellow back in. In seconds, it's gone. 
No more vitiligo. No colour correction. Let's see it. Gone. Okay. Oh my God. He said he's fat. I want to smack him. I want to smack him. He said he's fat. Go and say that again. That is disgusting. Go eat your half a banana and be done with it. And she's English too. Go eat your half a banana. Love it. Oh my God. All right. So, showing his abs. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Don't Anything... think I haven't exhaled in Listen, years. He has not exhaled in years. Did you hear that? This is how we roll at Sean Richards London. It's great energy. It's a lot of education. So, David, yes, let me sir. let me see let me see nudism and vibrato, please, my darling. I've got new lip palettes coming out, kids. I've got Coraline, which is going to be corals, and I've got Lavish for all of you deep skin beauties that don't find a palette just for you. Yes, I have made it. Oh my gosh. Okay, a makeup. Okay, let me see what your request is. I cannot go live. I don't have the bandwidth to go live. I am in Toronto and it's bloody loud. That's thank you baby. I got that. Okay. So now that we've got all this going on, no, you can't send me your resume. I'm a personal makeup artist. I don't need assistance. And if as a department head, unless you're 706, I can't hire you. So I'm sorry guys, I get this a lot. I don't need an assistant. I really don't. I'm so sorry. But you know what? You you learn from me. I set up makeup mentor to enable you. I wanted to pass you the gift of knowledge. Let that be my gift to you, okay? You do not need to assist, you just need to follow me on YouTube, Sean Rich 68 Makeup Mentor on Facebook. Okay, this is vibrato, okay? Vibrato is absolutely beautiful. It has colors for every skin tone. Look at this, oh, it's so sexy, these colors, I've got to tell you. Oh my God. I mean, I almost want to put it on myself. Look, look at this. Look how I'm layering. Are you seeing this, guys? Do you understand what I'm trying to show you? I'm mixing lip and cheek and putting it on top of long wear cream. Do you see how you can suit, you can layer it and get translucency? Yes, oh my goodness. Yes, faces by Pacencia. Oh, I love that. Patience, pacienza. Love it. Okay, let me get the deep one. Oh, thank God he's gone. Finally, I can have a bit of peace. Now I've got them in my bloody other ear. It's like, fucking hell, where am I? Right. At the circus. Yeah, I'm at the circus. Okay, look. There's another color. Very translucent. Put it on me, please. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Okay. Let's try this beautiful, which color is this one? This is rose. Oh, I made this one. This reminds me of a classic Max Factor. Max Factor, back in the day, used to make a really beautiful rose pink. <coughs> My mother used to wear it. <clears throat> I loved it. Of course, because I'm half Maltese, Pacencia. Yes. <laughs> so Italiana, of course. Now, look, we've got other colors here that I absolutely love. Remember, these are cheek and lip. Cheek and lip. There's your lip. All of a sudden, there is a stain. It's a cheek. Think outside of the box. Do not be constrained or restricted. Brands tell you, this is a lipstick only. <coughs> this is a lip brush only. This is an eyeliner brush. This is a this. I want you to throw all of that out of the window. It is nonsense. It is utter nonsense. Yes, you can see that palette again, darling. Isn't that pretty? Yes. It's for, I, and when I make my palettes, I make them for every single skin tone. I have Inclusive Beauty as a brand modus operandi. I do not condone these brands that just do white makeup. The world is a rich, colorful place, my friends. We are lucky to be alive in this planet. We need to celebrate every single skin tone, every culture, every belief. We need to celebrate each other. 
and that's what I want to do with my brand. Yes, the orange is divine. Let me put it on. Yes. You wait till Coraline palette comes, my darlings. You wait. You will love it. Okay, I'm trying to find... It's a translucent coral, but it, and I put a little bit more of a gloss in it. Can you see? It's very pretty. See that? You know, basically, thank you, Shauna. Um, you know, when I look to colors, I'm inspired by nature. I'm inspired by art. I'm inspired by Italy. I'm inspired by France. I'm inspired by Japan. I have a richness or a rich affection for those countries because, yeah, it is a salmon olive, the orange. That's exactly what it is. It's a salmon orange. It's beautiful. Yes. It is, you know, colors, colors that make your energy vibrate. I know that sounds a bit funny, but that is how I roll. A color is a vibration. When you use the right colors, your vibration rises and that's what makes it work. You know, everyone might just sort of go, God, she's being a bit hippie and a bit whatever, but it is a vibration. Anything that evokes the senses, whether it's music, food, a scent, a smell, something that you see, it vibrates. It, it, it is a sensory overload. So when you have colors that throw that vibe out, you're gonna lift. And that's what pure pigment does. Too many times I see too much ash, I see too much white, I see too much thin color. What is the point of having thin color? You've got nowhere to go with it. So you need to have a densely populated pigment so that you can thin it down and you can take it to wherever you want it to be. That's what makes your work individual. If you're doing the exact same as everyone else, where's your individuality? Seriously, right? Energy is in everything. Faces by Pagentia. Yes. Amen. Okay. Now, nudism. I loved calling this palette nudism. Again, shades of nude for every skin tone. You literally can do everyone with that. And I got to tell you, this palette is absolutely exquisite as a blush palette. Yes, Elise, it is creative freedom. And as artists, we have to be free. There is no constraint to creativity, okay? Okay, my darlings, let me show you. They keep telling me off for sticking my fingers in my own palette. It's my palette and I'm going to stick them in. Hold on a minute. Okay, look at that. Pigment. Pigment. <laughs> Okay. We have all the other stuff. Oh my God. Hold on a minute. I'm running out of arm. Hold on a minute. And people are wanting my attention. It's quite funny. Okay, wait a second. Let's show you these. Okay. Up the arm. Look at these. For a translucent sheen. Right? Let's go with a brown. Look at this. Don't you love it? Don't you love it when someone phones you? Okay. Let's now go here. Look at this. Can you see these? Nudism is, was at your booth. Your machine didn't allow me to purchase. Oh, you should come back. We got that fixed. Sorry, darling. But yes, if you want to come back, we got it fixed. Um, with nudism, I did make it more translucent. I wanted that subtlety. It is buildable. You can layer it on top of long wear. It will not change long wear at all. In fact, look, there's long wear yellow, right? I mean, actually, let me just show you. Nothing's coming off on my hands, unless it's lipstick. No, nothing is coming off on my hands. Now, let me show you. Let me show you about this over this. No, I'm downtown. I'm at Queen and Jarvis, but I'm right now. Are you in the annex? My friends, we are color manipulators. That is what we are. Okay. Well, it is. I mean, you know, I shoot movies uh, faces. So, uh, Pacenti, I shoot movies. So, you know, when you've got a, a, a face that is on a huge screen, you really have to do refined work. So that is another thing. 
So basically, with everything that I'm doing, it's all about colour, it's all about inclusive beauty. There is no one left out. I don't believe in that. I come from a multicultural family. I'm half Maltese, half Welsh. My grandparents on my mother's side were Egyptian. Uh, on, my, uh, on her father's side were Egyptian. On her mother's side were Israeli originally, going way back when. On my father's side, they were French, Swiss and Welsh. So I am a real mix. And that is the world over. I am not unique. I really am not. So the brand is about the United Nations of Colour. Okay, now, who has some questions? Let me, let me answer. Uh, I can also add things like, a lot of people are using Essence Palette for doing eyebrows with. A lot of people are using Essence Palette as a liner. Um, a lot of people are doing structure with it. They're painting it in. They're buffing it in. They're mixing it in with a foundation and they're doing it as they put the foundation in. None of this Bop, 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 and then layer two, layer three, layer four, layer five, layer six. What is that bullshit? Imagine all those layers that you have on the face mean that you have more work to do throughout the day. Less is more. So you need pigment so that you don't need to keep adding. Sorry I'm late to join, but would you use them as a foundation? Yes, Gillian. Absolutely, you would use them as a foundation. This will be saved so you can go back and watch this whole thing later, Gillian. Don't forget. Can you show us each palette and the names? Okay, so I'm starting with this one. All the lipwear palettes are $98. They have the equivalent pour of two and a half lipsticks each well. So you are getting the equivalent of 25 lipsticks for 98 bucks. Excuse me. It's not a cheap formula. It's a beautiful formula. Would you mix them with another foundation or just sheer it out? Use whatever you want. Don't even ask me. Experiment yourself. But literally yes to anything is the answer. So lip wear is 98. If you sign up for Sean Richards London uh, Pro Discount, it is a $30 a year annual, sub uh, annual subscription for those with five years or more. For people with under five years experience, for the newbies, it's a $20 a year discount. Full pros get a 30% pro discount and we will ship to you wherever you are. If you're on location, if you're at home, wherever. David, like I said, does all the shipping. So let's go back to the palettes. This is nudism. So this is your natural palette for all skin tones, okay? Lip and cheek. Then we have vibrato. Vibrato is lip wear as well, 4K lip wear. So those are your Italian pinks and reds and plums. Yes, I sell at Namie's and Nigel's. Absolutely. Hold on, let me get more. Then I have... Okay. Then I have in lip palettes, I have Radiance. Radiance is for illumination, all right? So put it on top of matte lipstick, use it as a highlighter, mix it in with a foundation to put light within, underpaint with it, do all sorts of things, use it on the lids, use it in the corners, anything you want, literally. So nude, uh, this is Radiance as well. So the lip palettes currently are Vibrato, Radiance and Nudism, okay? Then, and they are $98 and it's the equivalent pour of 25 lipsticks, two and a half lipsticks a well. They all have argan oil in them, everybody loves them. They make your lips feel really juicy and nice and they go on like a dream, you know? And I'm sorry, but when you're using brushes like my number five classic and my number six, which are two of my favorite lip brushes, also my vegan nouveau number 16, my Nouveau All About Lip number three. These make mincemeat of all of those. And remember that any brush, as long as it fits a lip, is a lip brush. You could even use a brush like this, my beautiful pyramid uh, concealer brush as a lip brush, because it's precision. That's all you need, ultimately, isn't it? So, now we go on to long wear cream. Long wear cream is $88. Again, it is packed with product. No one has my colors, they are completely unique and my formula is completely unique. It is not the Jordan 
uh, total tattoo palette. It really is not. I put argan oil into it. There are lots of other goodies that go into it. And my pigments are like no one else. I don't copy other people. I've always been original. Okay, so there is ether. Water, please, darling. Yes, there is ether. Then I also have essence. Remember, this is essence. Okay, so these are for your Caribbean and Latina skin tones. Mix that yellow, mix that orange, take it down. You can go anywhere with that. Hell, you could even do uh, Japanese and Korean skin tones with these if need be. And especially if you've got the two of them, you've got sort of pretty much all the color. Okay, then I don't know who's laughing, Lisa Smith makeup. Are you, are you enjoying it, Lisa? I hope you are. And then of course my beautiful melanin palette, which I have to honestly say with hand in heart, this is the most important palette that I've made. I just, I felt such a sense of responsibility to do right by people that have not been done right by in so many ways. Uh, yeah, it, I, I get emotional when I talk about it because it, it really is, it really is everything. Thank you, Robin. Yes, the best effing palette for ethnic skin. Well, this is Africa right here, okay? I went from uh, from West Africa to the Sudan, you know? Yes, it's very, very important. So we have melanin right there. And then, of course, so basically here we have, with the three of these, we've got a lot of coverage of global beauty. Let me just show you them all together so that you can see them. So then by the time I bring out Boreal Palette, which is my super fair palette, you're covered. You've got the world in four palettes, okay? And you've got all the mixed tones that you need. You call that palette the Chadwick Palette? What, my Essence Palette? Yes, you should. You call it whatever you want. As long as you love it and you love him, that's all that matters, okay? And he deserves everyone's love. He's magnificent. Okay, so next thing coming up, we have Vida palette, okay? Vida is my beautiful reds and lips, okay? But then again, think about it. Okay, we've got a pink here, right? Let's show you how to mix color. So we're gonna put pink right there, okay? Now I'm gonna mix this this color right here, okay? And I'm gonna mix it on the pink. Watch what happens. So are you telling me that you can't custom blend? Are you telling me that you can't custom mix? It went from that glorious pink to this. So you have a whole array of color with Vida. Vida is a really important palette. It covers a multitude of things. It will cover beauty makeup. It will cover character makeup. It will cover aging makeups. It will cover effects makeups. It will do so much. Do your brides with it. Do your mother's, the bride of the mother. That's number nine. It's not in there yet. No, no, no. for a set, please. Oh, oh, yes. That's BKS Pro. Best kept secret pro. Um, so basically, we've got a, a lot of stuff going on. Um, there it is. But there's only eight in that set. Okay. It's already open. Thank you, babe. Okay, I just need to have a glug. Elise, the collection is galaxy. Thank you, my darling. Well, don't we live in a big galaxy full of beautiful people? That's what I always think anyway. Okay, God, it's quiet. I better talk whilst it's quiet. Then finally, we have Brio. Okay, so we have Brio 4K Longwear Cream. We've got Lamp Black, we've got all uh, different blues, different uh, teals and greens and yellows. Everything is very pigmented. Everything is beautiful in that palette. It is really nice. And I've got more of them coming out. I have got Sherbet coming out, Confetti coming out. I've got Shades of Grey coming out. It's going to be called Graded Palette. So red greys, green greys, brown greys, blue greys, all sorts of things, purple greys. Um, yes, yeah, I have to cover the world. It's, it's, we are inclusive beauty, I keep saying it. Lots and lots of things coming out. Um, I'm also letting you know, and this is the first time I'm publicly announcing it, that we are about to launch refills. You guys asked for refills. I am bringing out refills. Yes, we ship to South America, to Chile. Yes, we do, my Rosita Copias. Hang on, Rosita Copias Fier. 
No, Rosita Copias Feir. That's it. Okay, yes, we ship to Chile. I ship to Kathmandu if you want. If you live on Alpha Centauri, I'll try and find a spaceship. Okay, that's basically how I roll. Whatever it is we can do, we'll do. If we can't do it, we can't. But otherwise, yes, we will. Um, so, what have I got coming out? I've got refills coming out for ether, essence, and melanin very, very shortly. They are currently being filled. I have a new lip palette launching within the next two months called Coraline, which are going to be lip and cheek 4K lipwear. I'm also bringing out Lavish 4K lipwear. So that is another palette that will complete all my lip palettes. Now, in 4K longwear cream coming up in palette, I have Velvet, which is going to be sumptuous, rich tones, reds and plums. I will have Graded, which are shades of grey. I will have Confetti, which are sherbetty, frothy colours. I will also have Sherbet. There we go. I knew I had something else. Sherbet. So I think I've got about another five more long wear cream palettes. And once they're done, they are done. That will be the collection closed. We will then start working on shimmer long wear formulas because I want to do cream eyes. And that will be it. Yes, Elise, refills because you pros asked for it and you know that's what I say about being a community I hear a lot I follow a lot I listen to you and I'm here for you and I take action and if I think I can do it I will definitely do it sometimes I can't I can't do it all um, and I don't need to do it all there are always other people out there but what I do I do with love I do with forethought shelf life of 4k palettes you know, storage and conditions are everything. As you all know, no palette is airtight. I am actually starting to work on an airtight palette because that is another progress that I needed to do for this product. But otherwise, when I'm storing it in hot conditions and dry conditions, I'm keeping it in a ziplock zip and sucking the air up. And then it's good as gold. And you can always use Marvelous Moisturizer to reactivate it, okay? That is what I made this for read it look what does it say there it says marvelous moisturizer and multifunctional mixer slap it on adore the hydration for birds and blokes guess what it's for men too so it's for anything okay now what I use to remove is my 4k cold cream cleanser good old-fashioned cold cream but with a twist I put argan oil into it I put other good things 4k cold cream cleanser slather it on massage it in wipe it off good old-fashioned cleanser again for birds and blokes okay so shelf life for 4k palettes if you store it with the lid open then kiss it goodbye in a month like you would with any other palette that you would leave open they would be manky okay so you're gonna keep it in a little ziplock if you need to but quite honestly i store mine in a makeup bag everything is tight together and i have them lasting for months and months and months and to be honest i'm using them up really fast too now one thing i want to let you know about is a lot of you are talking about depotting and you know you're putting it on your palette and you're taking out a whole load darlings why are you being so frivolous with with your products why are you using so much less is more take a little out use it take a little more out use it and then you won't have waste how many times have you mixed a color on a palette and wiped off so much I have got oh my gosh I've got five four three two one I'm nearly done I'm at Michael key quickly come and say goodbye this is my hero Michael was the one that started everything Hello. good about makeup shows you have so much to be thankful for this man so I cannot tell you he is my friend I love him to bits and he has been amazing to me so yes show him the love Michael How's the show going? The show's going well. Yeah. Especially at this point. I have no responsibilities now. <laughs> I have been going 100 miles an hour all day long. And I'm uh, just we just finished with Battle of the Brushes. And so now I can come and Relax. harass people like you and come and be social and say yes. hello. Yeah, he never gets the time, guys. He just never gets the time. But really, you, if you want to be educated, if you want to see all the diversity in makeup, this is the man that started it. We started in, in LA, it was just such a small show, it is so huge now and he absolutely is 
the person that you should support. Come to the show, come and see the education he provides, look at the makeup demos. You won't see half as much glitter at this show as you will see. Yes, you have someone, Michael, saying thank you, thank you, thank you, literally, yes. Absolutely. People are waving at him. I love it. So, you know, you're only going to get the best education from the best pros. So go find them. You know, it's very, very important. Has anyone got any questions? We've got 29 seconds left. Yes, I will be at LA show. Do you mean LA IMAX or the LA makeup show? Because IMAX now, I think, is done for the year. We've already done LA IMAX. Yes, LA IMAX is in January, so we will be there. I'll see you soon too, Shauna. Thank you so much for, for joining me, everyone. And it's eight seconds. I'll be at all of them. If I'm filming, I might not.